Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am The Style Coach. This channel is all about helping to refine your personal style and in doing so, increase your confidence. If you'd like to join me over on Instagram, you're most welcome. You'll find me there at thestylecoach.ie. You'll find out more about my online courses down below. And if you'd like to work with me, you can find more information on my website, thestylecoach.ie. Today's video is all about how to identify whether you have a short waist or a long waist. You might have heard this being called short bodied or long bodied as well. If you already know, I have a couple of videos on how to dress for these vertical proportions and I'll link them below. When we talk about vertical proportions, we're talking about the relationship between the length of the lower part of the body to the upper part of the body. That's exactly what it comes down to, just like your lateral proportions compare your shoulder width to your hip width to your waist width. First of all, why is this important? Well, it's important when it comes to dressing, just as important as your lateral proportions are, whether you're a pear shape, hourglass, etc. Knowing your vertical proportions means that you'll be able to buy the right clothes, dress to optimize your body shape, and therefore buy better and buy less. There's three ways to identify if you are long-waisted or short-waisted. The first is simply by looking in the mirror. If you stand in front of the mirror in slim fitting clothes or your underwear or naked, sometimes it's quite obvious to see if you have a long torso in comparison to your legs or if you have a short torso in comparison to your longer legs. If you're struggling to see the difference, it's quite likely that you are equally proportioned. If that doesn't clear things up for you, the second thing that you can look for, this is kind of a little clue, if you have found that things like bodysuits, swimsuits, jumpsuits are fitting a little too snugly on your body, maybe they're riding up into places that they shouldn't be, then you could be long waisted because these things are difficult to find that fit comfortably. Or if you feel like the waistline of tops or dresses sit very low on you, then it is likely that you are short-waisted. If you want to go for a more accurate approach to this, then you can measure your vertical proportions. When you're measuring your vertical proportions, you want to make sure that you're using a tailor's measuring tape, so something that's flexible and that will fit to the curves of your body. You want to measure from the top of the shoulder. Now, this is not the outer part of the shoulder, it's actually the base of the neckline. From there, you want to stretch out your measuring tape in a straight line all the way down to the break in the leg, otherwise known as the crotch, and take note of these measurements. Next, you'll want to take your measuring tape again, hold the measuring tape at the break of the leg or at the crotch, and stretch the measuring tape all the way down to the ankle. This is also called your inseam, so it's not actually going all the way to the floor. Take note of these measurements and then compare the two. You may notice that your measurements are equal, in which case you're equally proportioned vertically. Or you may notice that your torso is actually quite a bit shorter than the measurements you got for your inseam, in which case you are short-waisted. However, you might be like me and found that your torso measurements are actually longer than your inseam measurements, in which case you have a long torso. Now that you've identified these measurements, I invite you to go and check out my two videos that I have on being long-waisted and short-legged or short-waisted and long-legged. That's it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again next week. Take care.